Previously on The Bill. I can count ten fingers and ten toes. Get off me! Tell me why you bought Lee the dog. You're in the clear. You've got better things to do than chat at the female officers, Luke. <laughs> Good to see you back, Tom. Well, come on, you'll be late for the briefing. I know. Oh, you're keen. Now, uh, the other relief for a few bodies down. Gilmore put me straight on the desk. Who's these? Oh, sorry, the yours. Um, Martin dropped them off this morning. Oh, early turn, he's left a note. Okay. Oh, great. Well, Bee Gees. Typical, isn't it? Always your favourites. You all right? Don't look like you'll be able to speak to that security guard for a while. That's if he ever does wake up. Yeah, thanks, Sarge. Well, I suppose we better pay our last respects. Mrs. Hayden, DS Hunter, DC Blaze from Sunhill. We're sorry to hear about your husband. How are you coping? He's still on life support. I can't believe this has happened. I don't understand what went wrong. It looks as though the arm gang knew there was going to be a delivery of cash to the building society and they jumped your husband's van. It's a classic pavement job. I was so relieved when he got that job. It was on nights before and I nagged and nagged because he never saw the kids. I made him take it. It's not your fault. He was just really unlucky. We'll do everything we can to find the people who did this. I know you will. OK, keep it down. Keep it down. Next on the agenda, indecent exposure, Canley Park. Could we have to do Sarge in this weather? <laughs> Tony? Sarge? Hit the lights, please. And did you tell your mum what happened? Sort of. Well, you've done the most difficult thing, coming in to see us, and I know we might look like a scary lot, but we're all right, really. Cheers. Right. Here we go, darling. Thanks. Now, I know it's not easy, but do you think you could tell us what happened when the man came over to you? I don't know. Go on. You were in the park, weren't you? I think so. Indecent assault, 1988, 93 and 97. Five foot eight, medium build, matches the description right. Miriam Ray yeah. gave us last week. Can't fool me. As does... I spot a damsel in distress at a thousand yards. Is that right? English. I see 138. Well, I'll be the best Kevin night you ever had. Suspended for indecent exposure, but recently... Get it? On a damsel. Night, you know, shining armour. Sorry, Gary, is there something you want to share with the rest of us? Do you know? My little girl, Joanna, wants a pair of trousers like these. Oh, she's only eight, though. Not a young lady like you. They're new. I got them in the sale. Yeah? Or would you go shopping with your mum? No, I go with my mate, Claire. Claire. And was Claire with you last night? She was to start with. Then we had a bit of a row and I went off. And is that when you saw the man? I thought he was coming over to ask something. And then he started calling me. I didn't realise what was happening. Tony. Fourteen-year-old girl was flashed at last night. Eva and Inspector Gold are with her now. You'll get more details as and when. Meantime, keep them peeled for any suspicious behaviour. He had his trousers down. I could see. I could see his. Hey. It's all right. You're doing really, really well. 
and then I realised what he was doing to himself. I don't know why I didn't run. <laughs> it was like I couldn't. And I didn't know what to do. It's all right. So you didn't think to get your source's intelligence corroborated? There wasn't any time, sir. Well, what impact did you think a security guard with a hole in his gut was going to have? The city's like New York was ten years ago, Danny. People think we're losing the fight against crime, and then this has only gone and made it worse. Debbie, thought you called in sick? I got better. How'd you get there? I walked into a cupboard. Results, Danny. That's the only thing I want to hear from you from now on. Drawn the records. All known associates of your informant and the landlord who tipped off Eva. Get onto the robbery squad. Get them to fax through mugshots of all the up and coming stars. Oh, and interview all building society personnel. A professional job like this has got to be an inside connection somewhere. Debbie, what are you working on? A thousand things, Gov. Come into my office. Let's see if we can make it a thousand and one. What a shiner. Well, I guess you'd be the expert. What are you getting at? From what I hear, your wife's got a mean right hook. Yesterday. It's just a misunderstanding, that's all. Yeah, well, that's nothing compared to what Chandler's going to dole out if we don't get a lead. I think you'll find that's if you don't get a lead, Danny. Tony, if I'm David Tony in the car, I'd rather you than me, mate. The mood is in. Better than Gilmore. And you think the guy can't get any more miserable, he just proves you wrong. Well, Luke reckons Gilmore's dumped his fella. Mm. But Luke, you know what it is, don't you, with these flashes? They're sexually inadequate. Really? Yeah, yeah, so often found to be lacking in the bedroom department. You seem to know a lot about it, Rich. Well, it's only what I've read, obviously, you know. Isn't that what they all say? Mm? Get the IRV to pick up CCTV footage from premises around the building society. Run through them, see if you can come up with a getaway car. I'd rather be out on the streets, Gov. Face your injuries, Debbie. You know the rules. Can't give the public the impression we're like a scrap, can we? No. So come on then. What? A cupboard. Surely you can do better than that. Trouble on the home front? I'm dealing with it, Gov. I hope you are. Uh, Gary, thanks for the offer, but I... Well, no stress. I just thought a drink and a boogie might get whatever it is out of your system. You know, as mates, obviously. Well, give us how many signs of what? So what do you reckon? Thanks, but I think I need a girls' night out. I mean, why pay for therapy when you can slag off blokes with your mates, eh? Back counselling pharmacy. Robbery now. Any unit deal? Kenny! Zero one on way. Go on, got caught. Well, the offer's always there. Uh... Yeah, come on. She... Come in. Yes, Alex. I'd like a few uniforms for a bit of door to door. No can do. It's all about street crime at the moment. I need them all on high visibility patrols. Well, I can't send Debbie out looking like she does. No, I suppose not. Do we know what happened to her? So, which buttons did she press this time? Sorry? Come on, we both know about your temper. What, is she implying that I hit her? Well, didn't you? I wasn't even with her last night. And a woman like that, she's probably got more than one bloke on the go, pregnant or not. That's some accusation. Right. What about her affair with that informant, Ross? If you go back through her file, I bet you'll find dozens of incidents just like this. She's a schemer, she's out for herself. In fact, I wouldn't mind finding out what kind of checkered career she has had. Apart from you. I'll check her file. Alex! She duped me. Don't let her suck you in. From Sierra Oscar 21. We're in the vicinity. We'll keep a lookout. Received. Des, are you trying to give me whiplash or what? How are we going to spot Tony's suspect if you're doing your Schumacher impression? Caddy. What? Bought it. It's not saying we're part of a chain or anything. When things get nicked, it comes out of our wage packet. This bloke say anything? Well, apart from the swearing, just come in demanding to know where we keep the bandages. And then what happened? Picked up a load of packets from the shelf and walked out. Anything? Trail of blood leads through there. Found that. Looks like that could be the reason for nicking your bandages. Your thief probably got smacked on the head with it. Sorry, guys. We've had a spin round the block, but he's long gone. Isn't that right, Des? Yeah. Looks like your thief has sprouted wings. Give us a call if you need anything. 
See you later. Is that it? Nothing more we can do, sorry. Yeah, thanks for your help. Thanks for nothing. Security guards regain consciousness. You know where I am at the evening. Good luck. I didn't know CID work had become a spectator sport. Governor's digging me out the sets where just to fast. Still stuck on your willy waggler, I suppose. He flashed a 14 year old last night. This is not more important. Mm. Have you got children, Sarge? No, why? One more remark like that, you won't be able to have any. So how do you know the suspect isn't still wandering the streets, injured? Des and Kerry patrolled the block. Have you checked the hospital? Not yet. I'm trying to make allowances for you, Tony. But your attitude certainly won't win you this community Bobby Award. It's a joke. I beg your pardon? Lee Dwyer put that nomination in. He's the kid that accused me of touching him. Remember the name by any chance? Oi, what's up? Nothing, Mum. Just on my way to the hospital. You can give Danny here a lift, then. The security guard's come round. Good. I'll cut you a deal. Mum. Problems? Nothing I can't handle. Oh, not what I hear. Word round the station is your love life's up the swanee. Nothing sacred round here, Craig. You know that. Walls have ears. Yeah, right. You can't always leave your problems at home, you know. Take Tony, for instance. What he's been through. We need to give him a bit of slack. Plods, they're allowed. And we're not? No, we're not. Now, take it easy. Treat your relief like human beings, and they might just do the same to you. All right? Yeah, that's right, McAllister. Plus, any disciplinaries from previous posts. Yeah, I'll hold. Debbie's fine, for what it's worth. A few notes about her ability, or lack of it, but nothing that suggests she's some kind of schemer. How can you be sure? Do I look like a fool? I saw you with her in the backyard. She instinctively flinched away from you. You don't get that kind of reaction unless you've done something to deserve it. You misread the situation, Alex. You know who your worst enemy is, Tom? You. Debbie is just a plod along DS who just happens to be carrying your child. There's no big plot, no plan to bring you down. And look what you've done to her. I did not hit her. Okay. So she decides to take it any further. You've got nothing to worry about, have you? What do you mean? Is that a relapse? Not my fault. All right, okay, listen. Um, I need some info about admissions today. Anyone in with a head injury? Why is she crying over that loser? How old are you, Gary? Twenty one. I've got a lot to learn about women. Yeah, just because her relationship with Martin's over, it doesn't mean she can pack up her feelings neatly in a box and leave it out with the rubbish. You are. Well, she needs time to sort herself out to get over him. You don't think she'll get back with him, dear? Oh, how should I know? But all Kerry said was that getting her stuff back made things, you know, final. Well, which CD was it? Oh, Gary, I can't remember. Well, hurry up, Tony will be back from dropping Danny at the hospital in a minute. Oh, the basement Jack's Bee Gees, I wasn't listening. Well, which one? Do you want a smack in the mouth? Tony, we're on a mission, mate. Oh, yeah? We're going shopping. Oh, can I help you? I think I can help you, actually. Yeah? It's about the robbery yesterday. I think I saw the raiders running to their getaway car. Yeah. Well, how kosher do you reckon he is? I'll be there in ten. Here we go, Mr. Kirby. Milk. One sugar. Thank you. I told my wife about it when I got home. She felt I should come round straight away. But I was up all night thinking about repercussions, you know. Victim intimidation. You hear about it on the news all the time, don't you? Your information is just one piece of the jigsaw. It's one tiny piece. Anyway, when she heard about the security guard, uh, she said I had to come. 
As you said, we all have our part to play, don't we? Can you tell us about the car you saw? Blue Williams Clio, gold trim. I didn't get the registration number, I'm sorry. They can't track me down, can they? If they can shoot one man. I don't reckon they'd notice you if they were running. You'd have to be standing in front of them to even register. Well, that's just the problem. Why? How far away were you? They ran straight past me, as close as we are. Yeah, that's fine by me. Do you want me to get him to call you when he gets back in? No, that's OK. I'll wait. Give him the good news myself. Have you uh, seen Debbie lately? No, not today. You haven't seen the black eye she's sport in then? What? She didn't get it on a job either. So, what are we talking? Domestic abuse? What use of community safety unit if it can't look after its own? Jim! June's kindly volunteered your services as family liaison officer. And for? The security guard's family. You never know, he could be the gang's inside man. They might have had him shot just to make it look good. I want you to get close and ask a few questions. Well, I'm sorry, sir. It's the FLO's job to support the family, not cross-question them. Yeah, of course. But we can't leave any stone unturned, can we? He doesn't have any relatives here by any chance. I don't think so. I'm just checking. I don't want to ruin any more friendships downstairs. All right. How is Tony? Well, how would I know? He won't even talk to me. Yeah, well, give him a chance. It's his first day back. Right, well, Jim, if you want to come to my office, I'll run through what we've got. So, what about Debbie? See you later, Jim. What took you so long? I didn't know which Bee Gees album to get. Did I? There's millions of them. I trust the girl behind the counter which sold the most copies. Women aren't worth this much trouble, Gary. Gary's worth it, all right. What are you going to learn? Don't let emotion get in the way of the job. Board unit Sierra Oscar. Harmour Road. A robbery. Victim is an IC1 male. Any unit deal? Look, Tony, I know you're still feeling... Sierra 1 attending. <laughs> I can't believe how many sex offenders there are in the borough alone. Yeah, try and stick it out the window and you're guaranteed to hit one of them. Gov. Yeah? CCTV's brought up three matches so far. Aldi saloon, black cab and a blue Clio. Well, the Clio ties in with Kirby's version of events. Good. Whilst we're getting somewhere. Sorry, Gina. You know the rules. Mm. Especially not in here. You spoil sport. So, what's this? Reported incidents of indecent exposure over the past 12 months within a half mile radius of the park. He was going through the sex register for likely candidates. What about offences committed before 97? The register only goes as far back as that. What more records? I ain't got through this lot yet. Try a shortcut. June Ackland's been here for years, the local parole board lover. Now she's running CSU, she's in touch with them every day. If you're nice to her, she might draw you up your shortlist. Eva, you go. No, that's all right. Debbie will go. Sorry? I'd like you to go and see June, please, Debbie. Hello, Johnny. Someone pay you back in kind? As I told this fella, I fell over. Same as I was before, loving bricks from balconies. Your money flutter away as you hit the ground, did it, Jono? You know it. Yeah, Jono Smith. Works for Lone Shark, George Palapardu. Ain't that right, Jono? Someone muscling on your ground, is that it? Yeah. Bonnie and Clyde. No need to be facetious, sir. We're only trying to help. <laughs> yeah, never mind. George won't be very happy. He certainly won't believe it. Nearly five. Well, through your collecting round. Must be quite a wedge in here, Jono. Whatever you say, constable. Right, if that's the way you want to play it, get him on his feet. Uh, well, if you're not an ambulance and we can't help you, let's be on your way. Yeah, well, I want to stay here. I'd rather you didn't, so move along. Beaties, have you done as a flares and chest week person? Rather for Caddy, aren't they? The little birdies told me that it's missing from a record collection. Trouble is, the little birdie can't remember which one. I reckon Kerry's cool. Car wash night down the club every Saturday. That's what I reckon. What's he doing? Oi! You heard us shift it. 
Nah, she's well cooler than that. Hardcore clubber. Basement jacks it is then. No, I think you're wrong, mate. But good luck anyway. Debbie, what can I do for you? Gov wondered whether you'd call the parole board and check on sex offenders on licence pre-97. Sure. As long as you tell me where you got that black eye. Sorry. How long has she been in there? I don't know. About five minutes. Did she say what the CSU issue was? No. But I imagine it's about the black eye. First rule of detection. Don't discount the obvious. Yeah. Destructive criticism, pressure tactics, breaking trust. See, it's not just about the physical. Abusive partners are manipulative. They make you feel like it's your fault. Can we just drop this, please? Okay, well, it's up to you. You're a big girl now, but uh, look at it from my perspective. What kind of CSU doesn't look after its own? Sir, can we talk overtime budgets? Want to set up an obber for the flasher post shift? Not now, Gina. There's been an escalation in the frequency of incidents, and I just think that we could. Well, the payment jobs are priority. Right. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time, sir. Pleasure. Debbie's a snake. I don't trust her. She's playing with my career to advance hers. Wouldn't surprise me if she'd stage manage this so I'd see her with June. So what's your answer then? Left jab? Look, I pushed her. She fell. It looks worse than it is. What am I going to do? I don't know, Tom. I'm fine. Honestly. Right. Well, I'll call parole for you now. But you know where I am. He's a credible witness, sir. Businessman, 2020 eyesight. We just haven't been through all the mug shots yet. Near as damn it. What have we got left? Um, three or four frames. Robbery squad are faxing more over this afternoon. Right. Well, given the fact you're only other witnesses on the critical list, you better hope this man's not wasting your time, Danny. Sorry. Not here either. And, um, love another one. So he thinks if he pretends to be into the seven bands issue, then you've got something in common. Well, I reckon it's sweet. He's making a real effort to be mates. <clears throat> making an effort to get into your knickers, more like. That's no wonder you're single, if that's the way you look at life. Tea, please. Milk, one sugar, tea. Oi, 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 oi. Sorry, sorry, it's an emergency case. I'm starting to think our only eyewitness has got diabetes. Brilliant. How'd you get on the hospital? Uh, only one head injury admission. Mr. Mark Curtis. Well, Mark Curtis works for George Polopardo. I didn't get a description. So, which one is it then? Bee Gees Night Fever. I knew it. See, I'll bet you're into that retro stuff. I was into it first time round. My dad used to play the tape in the car all the time. Martin hated them. He thought they were puffs. Well, perhaps you're best off out of that one, eh? Meet someone more deserving. Yeah. We could be right. Oh, here he comes. Don't tell him I told you, eh? <laughs> Go on. Shake your leg. Where are we going? Go see John O. Smith again. <laughs> Come on, John O. We know you're in there. PC stamped. What's happened to you now? You were right. George didn't like it. Lone chance ain't famous for their compassion. So when did this happen? About an hour ago. After he found out Mark Curtis had been done over. So George goes berserk and takes out what's sold on your face, is that it? Oh, the monkey catches on. <laughs> so who's the competition? Look, I've dealed it myself. But George wants the money back by this time tomorrow. You'll have to find them for me. Descriptions? An old man in an electric buggy and a woman frame bricks out of her handbag. You are? <laughs> well, the old boy pretended he needed help, coughed a lot. I'll go over. Suddenly, this old deer in a green overcoat standing above me on the balcony. I mean, even she couldn't miss from there. I couldn't move fast enough. Him. 
That's him. An invalid scooter in the first crime scene near the pharmacy. But it's obvious they don't know what day Mr. Polopardu sends his boys to collect the money. Then start with the registered owners of the scooters. Most of them are probably on loan from St. Hughes anyway. CSU will have a contact for the occupational health. Maybe they can speed things up a bit. Oh, Eva. Sergeant Ackland emailed a list from the parole board. None of them seem to fit the bill. So what next to Nobbo? Oh, if only. Superintendent Chandler won't rubber stamp the overtime. Can't he see how important this is? Mm -hmm. Selfish men, flash a superintendent, makes no difference. So what about volunteers? I suppose. I need a decoy. Someone who can attract attention. Well, don't look at me. There's no evidence that our flasher likes anything other than white women. More fooling. Bingo! Tony, it's here somewhere. It's all right. Take your time. No hurry. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Stephen Jeffries, uh, clinical manager. So, well, actually, uh, I wanted to thank you. You know, for your part in proving my innocence over Lee Dwyer. I appreciate it. It's just a shame more people weren't so ready to support me. So what are you trying to say, Tony? I would have thought that was pretty obvious. What? That I'm not your friend? Well, you've got a funny way of showing it. What are you doing here? Having a skive? Oh, just waiting for Tony. You? Dez, again. Any excuse and he's back in the station. It's like he doesn't want to be out in the car. Basement Jacks, eh? They're superb. You got their album? Once upon a time. You can borrow it if you want. Really? To show off what I'm out for. Oh, we've got a list of four good IAPs to get through. Listen, how about that drink after work? As mates? The boat in it is. It's just not fair. Right. It's not my fault. I'm only trying to do my job. Yeah, I know. Well, it's the same with the security guard's wife. It was the same reaction. She hated me for even thinking that her husband could have been involved in the robbery. Look, Tony will calm down. You've just got to give him time. I mean, he covered for you when you were going through all that. Yeah, but that's what makes things worse. You are stronger than Tony, and you mustn't let it get you down. You want to move closer to the window for that? Wayne well, Wright file, race crime, yours, I believe. Yeah, you want to use the light, otherwise how are you going to see what's in Jim's eye? I'll tell you what, I've got some eye drops in my locker. No, I think I'll be OK, actually, Rach. That's right, Jim, I'll go get them. Cleo's registered to an Andy Robinson who claims it was stolen, but BIU have him down as an associate with Chris Blackley, who also happens to be on the robbery squad's wish list. And that draws tighter. Doesn't it just? What's that supposed to mean? I'm merely agreeing with you. Look, stop playing games, Debbie. What did you go and see June Ackland about? Routine. D.I. Cullen sent me. I'm not stupid! Oh, what is wrong with you? Hmm? I know why you're so concerned. Frightened I'll run to June and tell her that you assaulted me. Well, have you? Will you knock? <laughs> Sorry, sir. Mr. Kirby's ID two of the robbers, clear as crystal. Could you authorise armed backup for their arrest? Call a briefing. Like that. Darling, Gary is a Mancunian. They can't be trusted. So why can't men have platonic relationships with women? And what about your relationship with Nick Klein? That wasn't very platonic, was it? Look, Martin pushed me away long before I pushed him. You were going to marry the guy five minutes earlier? Yeah, well, quick fix solution. Some people will do anything but face the truth. Come on, let's get back to the factory. 
Right, I want two units comprising TSG and SO19 to cover the front and the rear of each of the houses. And establish signs of life first, please. Sir, sir. I don't want to hit an empty premises and send out signals that we're onto them, okay? Might be to our advantage, sir. Let them know they're running out of time. There'll be nowhere left to hide. Yeah, that's one theory. Right, I'm going to phone SO19 now. Thank you. Count me in. You sure it won't be for long? Oh, I was only popping out for a drink anyway. This is far more important. Good girl. Pick up your civvies after debrief and we'll wire you up. Mum. How about you, Matt? Could you find it in your heart to give up two hours of your time to help us catch a pervert? Yeah, Oscar from 140. Sorry, Mum. Yeah, go ahead, Nick. No, I didn't think so. Yeah, Tony's geriatric mug. Because I've got a positive ID on the woman. Handbag, green overcoat. And there's an old fella riding a one-man milk float. Over. Yeah, but approach with caution, Nick. She's got a wicked thrown arm, that woman. I'll bring your riot shield if I were you. Yeah, very droll. Any chance of assistance? Over. Come along for the ride? No. Yes, sir, 19 can handle the rough stuff. OK, fair enough. You can't go either. I need you to find out what Debbie said to June Ackland. Look, forewarned is forearmed, Alex. If I can find out what she said, we can limit the damage. There is no we. You gave her a black eye. We go back a long way. I need your help. I can't help you. Not anymore. I've paid back my debt to you a thousand times over. Yeah, well, covering up a death in custody is a pretty big debt to repay, and it could have cost you your career. Yeah, and rape could have cost you yours. You're right. <laughs> oh, no. Quick, right, Go, you silly cow! Right, you fascist pig! Right, just back off, old man. Please don't do that. Oh. Right, run. Right. Sierra Oscar from 140. Go ahead. Metallic beige Vauxhall Senator. Reg, Hotel 460. Kilo, Bravo Mike, travelling down Rossiter Way. Are oh, you no? All units right. from Sierra no. Oscar. Any unit deal? Wait, no, just well, stop there. Right, right, the car is heading into the one way system. I'm resisting arrest, over. Please stop your machine now, yeah, sir. Yeah, All units receiving, over. But will you please stop your milk flow now, sir? You stop the vehicle and get out and put the stick down. Put your stick down now. I'm only going to warn you one more time. Give me that stick. <laughs> you all right, mate? What would you care? Right, come on, get out. Watch your end. Right, I'm arresting you for assaulting a police officer. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand? Oh, give it a rest, Sonny. The words may have changed, but the gist is still the same. Name? Horatio Nelson. Really? And where's the eye patch then, Nelson? You're not skin and bone you, aren't you? Come on. No, you don't. He's my prisoner. I'm taking him in the car and you can take care of the transport. Come on. You what? Mm. Sorry, Gary. Got the short straw, mate. Go on, off you go. Oh, come on. Gary Best, the fastest milkman in the West. He'd better not flatten my battery. Yeah, go ahead. Sarge, is the station's public address still working? Oh, we've been downstairs. Special delivery, CJU. Here. Reggie's eye drops. Be sure to thank him, will you? That's better. You look good when you smile, Jim Carver. Well, I've got a lot to smile about. You'd have a lot more if you could clear things up with Tony. I'll try. You'll try again, will you? He may not know it now, but he's going to need his friends. I'll talk to him. All units, UFO situation in front of the building. I repeat, UFO. Oi, Gary! Which bit of you's disabled, your street crud? Go so wet. In that contradiction in terms. Nice to see not all the stations have lost its sense of humour. <laughs> Oi, Gary. Make sure you've got that old geezer's walking stick handy. You'll need it to beat up all the birds. 
Nothing you can say or do could ruin my day, mate. What is that, impersonating Davros been a life ambition or something? No. I'm taking Kerry out for a drink tonight. OK, I'm going to ask you just one more time. Could I have your names, please? Dolby and Joan. Isn't that right, my love? <laughs> oh, Declan, please! Just say all the things I told you, all right? Two more minutes till the end of my shift. I thank my lucky stars. Yeah, maybe for you, Sarge, but Muggins here has to interview her. Well, could you hurry up on me? I've got a hot date to get to. <laughs> so that's it, then. We can hardly run an orbit with just you, me and Kerry, Mom. We're hardly Charlie's angels. I always have one trick up my sleeve at times like this. Oh, yeah? Ever seen a grown woman beg? <laughs> Most of you probably think I'm a dragon who can blow her own smoke rings. Hmm? No, I know I haven't been here long, but I need a favour. An obo to catch this flasher. The problem is the overtime budget has been stolen by the armed robbery fiasco. So I'm asking you for a free one. I know it's the end of the shift, but all I'm asking is for two hours. Two hours to arrest a funny little man who shows his willy and stop him becoming a funny little man whose next logical step might just be raping someone. I'm not asking as an inspector. I'm not asking as a police officer. I'm asking as a friend. I'll do it. Thanks, Luke. Anyone else? Great. Tony? No can do, sorry. I've had my fill of sex crimes lately. Gary? Any other night, yeah. Just not tonight, sorry. You can put me down. Thanks, Des. Right, all in civvies. Back here in ten for postings. Thank you very much. <laughs> speech. Oh. It works every time. Bit of a late spurt for you, Mr Hennessy. You haven't committed a crime since 1968. A few burglaries, but nothing since. So why come out of retirement? Daycare centre, not enough excitement anymore. Spin on this. Let's see, I'd be on me tail again all day, haven't I? Same car, all shift. Thought I might as well show them what a committed copper I am. It's either that or pull them out the car and plant one on them. Mm. Oh. Oi, 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 oi! Oh, crops, bro. Keep your head on. Ah, Casanova. All set for your big date. You better believe it. Stage one complete. Prepare for stage two. And what stage is that then? Humiliation or a bit of disappointment? Neither. Oh, it's funny that. Because I've just seen Kerry getting ready for the other. Nice try. She wasn't even in the briefing, mate. Looks like she's forgotten about you, mate. You know your problem, Luke? You're jealous. It's such a shame. He's, he's just so angry these days. Yeah, why is that? He's got cancer, officer. He's dying. It's the anger that keeps him going, you see. Angry at everything, from the fags to the state of the hospitals to the fact that he's leaving me behind. So why run the risk of mugging someone? Can't be good for his health. We don't get much pension. What with Declan's criminal record? Cash in hand jobs means you're not a taxpayer, you know? Declan wanted to make sure that I'd at least have enough money to invest with. Hence mugging the loan sharks. He's a brave man. The word you're looking for is gallant officer. Declan's always been very gallant. Sarge, do you know if the uniform I got on the lash tonight? Sorry. <laughs> Never mind. Debbie, you okay? Nope. Look, I need to know what you said to do next on this afternoon. Oh, is that, I wonder? Because you're a control freak? No, I didn't say anything to do. 
My private life is still my own, however I choose to abuse it. Look, I'm sorry. Do you know what went through my head when you ripped up my scam picture? Protect my child. That's all that matters now. What does that leave me? Anyway, you like as far as I'm concerned. Road exit. Over. 362, 33, location over. Dresden Avenue exit, over. Good, stand by. So what does a logistician do, anyway? Such? In the Sudan. What did you do? Nothing much. Now Des will spot you throughout your journey around the park, so just try and relax as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Wish me luck. You won't need it, mate. Why didn't you do what as I asked? <coughs> we would have been okay. You would have been okay. Declan, please. The money's in that box up there, on the bookcase. Thank you. Is this all there is? What are we going to do now? How are we going to get money for you? I'll be all right. Time to start fighting, love. Fingers doing well at Arsenal. Like your football, do you? Cardiff City supporting myself. Don't get so many games anymore. Nah, it's all too expensive now. Now it's become fashionable, they put the prices up. Might as well watch it on cable. No sign of anyone matching the description. Well, chill out on the bench for a few minutes, then do another circuit. You watching Des? Yes, Mum. You got cable then, have you? <laughs> yep. Full channel package and can't get enough of it. Must be paying you too much. Low overhead stand at my mum's. Ah. Uh -huh. The advantages of living at home, eh? Meals made, shirts ironed. The only problem is sneaking the girls past at night, I should imagine. It can't be the biggest aphrodisiac in the world, can it? Your mum in the next bedroom. What do you want to talk about that for? You fancy me or something? Look, you're my subordinate. And on a more personal note, you're not my type. I might be gay, but I just don't fancy anyone in trousers. Get over it. I'm a member of the Lonely Arts Club, eh? How long have you been here? Since the end of shift, in the other bar. You? Just waiting for Kata. Stood you up, eh? No. You want to get out while you still can, son? That's my advice. Look, Tony, I'm not being funny, but tonight's just a me and Kerry thing. Right, that is it. Don't want to be seen with me either. Of course not. Cheers, man. Look, Tony, chill out. Let me buy you a drink, eh? Whiskey, eh? Double. I'll have served 27 years this year. Now, not even a uniform can protect you. I think we better get you a cup, don't you? Come on.
Whoa, look who is. Judas Carl. Hey, Tony, come I'll on. talk to you when you're sober. Right, what are you going to say? Let bygones be bygones, mate. You don't know what a mate is. Taxi! Put him in the cab. You really are keen to get a slap, aren't you? Well, you keep dishing out the frets, and we'll see who does a slap. Lads, please. It's all right, Gary. Must be the beer too. <laughs> no, I ain't got that kind of right, get it? Because, Jimmy, you only drink the orange juice, don't you? Because you were too weak to control your drinking, weren't you, Jimmy? You are a weak man. Prat! Back in! Between the CSU and your AA meetings, our paths needn't cross. If they do, ignore me. As far as I'm concerned, you're dead. Who are you, CIB? You know me. I'm an associate of Jeff Simpson. He wants to see you again. Well, I don't want to see him. I'm afraid that is not an option. Help! All units, go, go, go. Target under attack. Repeat, target under attack. Target under attack. Target under attack. Next week. You will be there. Where the hell are you? Hey! Shh! It's okay. It's okay, love. Well, where were you? It's not my fault. Great Dawn was knackered. Bring the little toe rag here. Oh, great. What? The armed robbery. Meet CID's only eyewitness. Oh, fantastic. Get him in the car. Let's go. On the beer. It's not my fault your star witness of the armed robbery turned out to be a perv. So clean slate. Yeah. No yeah. problems like Debbie McAllister that come and they go. Really? You should spend more time watching your back than watching Ashton's. Well, at least it's only cars that I have used. Hell, Maddie! Stupid, Reggie, babe. 